Hello, hello, and welcome once again. J76NY here playing War on the Sea, Operation Watchtower. Last episode, we saw a whole lot of air action up in this area as a Japanese supply convoy was making its way down uh, over the course of the morning and early afternoon. Repeated strikes managed to sink all of the supply ships, and the only uh, Japanese vessel that got away was the destroyer that was escorting them and she is damaged so I'm assuming they're heading back we may actually intercept them with the uh, with one of our subs here so we will see what happens there um, over here we've got our cruiser group that's going to be moving in to bombard Cape Gloucester and Cape Hoskins I'm gonna split them into two groups of five and um, do some bombing here. I may have to hold out the second group of five in the Bismarck Sea until the uh, next day because I don't think they're going to be able to make it all the way over to Cape Hoskins uh, before the sun comes up. Oh, what else is going on here? We've got uh, Supply 2 ready to pick up some more troops at Rennell and head up to Guadalcanal. So we are going to load them up with troops. Now I am kind of uh, shortchanging the troops on Rennell Island for the time being. Um, now we'll leave all the supplies there. That's actually all I want to do for now. Um, we have to retake Guadalcanal. And then probably move everybody back down to Rennell. Uh, we do have a supply convoy moving down to New Hebrides to pick up some groups and supplies to send them up to Santa Cruz. Once we take that, we can move them and disperse them as needed. Uh, Celtic Battle Group is moving up. I do have these three uh, oilers sitting here doing nothing, so I could always load them up with fuel and send them, well, I don't know, somewhere up in here and maybe build up a, another air base up in this area instead of just having them sitting down here, I think. We'll get them into position to load that fuel and head up. Uh, our carrier groups, uh, they're going to need to come back soon. They are getting pretty low on their air wings. So I think the best position or the best um, supplied carrier right now is the Wasp. So I may have her come up and relieve Enterprise, send Enterprise over, and rearm, and then have her go over to relieve the Lexington, or I could make another carrier battle group. So I have options, but right now we are going to launch the afternoon air patrols and get back to you when we find something juicy okay so the greenling has encountered four ships moving very fast uh, maybe one destroyer so we are going to launch from the enterprise dauntlesses that's about all we have left on the enterprise And we are going to launch a scout to come up. I am going to actually engage the, uh, the group with the Greeling. Okay, so let's see. We've got 14 torpedoes. Okay, Greeling. There they are right there. One of them.
Okay, let's target her. Four thousand yards out. Let's identify her. Probably a is that the lone destroyer that nope. She is moving pretty fast. So let's identify her as an Asashio. Okay, so it looks like her track is going to take her down here. You can slow down a little bit. Have you turn in slightly? up your speed a little bit. 96% solution. Uh, and launch all six. I'm gonna launch them on a one degree spread. Actually bump that up to two. Okay, straighten out. I'm going to wait until we're at about 2,000 yards to fire. Is moving pretty fast. I don't know if I'm going to wait that long. 99% <clears throat> solution. 2,500 yards, I'm going to hit the fire button. Hopefully they don't all go underneath her. Okay, fire. All six. We've got two torpedoes left in the front and six in the rear. Okay, so we're going to have you turn, slow down, torpedoes are tracking, see how we do. Looks like might get a few hits here. Quite possibly. Oh, a dud. Nice. Absolutely wonderful. She didn't even notice us. Just kept going. Okay. Well, shit. Dauntlesses. You will be next. Okay, so Crimson Tide is being attacked by Zeros. We do have uh, Wildcats in the area to protect, so... We are going to make sure that they stay in the area.
one of the few full groups of wildcats we have. Okay. Oops. Turn on your radar. You smoke. See what we can find. There they are. Back there. Okay, we're going to have the battle group turn to the northeast. The wildcats are moving in to attack. They're going after our kingfisher, who's probably toast. Anti-aircraft guns are starting to open up. Lost a kingfisher. Never would have thought that would have happened. This guy's still out there. Okay, wildcats are moving into position. Not doing very good so far. So far we haven't shot any of them down. Shoot, shoot him. Another wildcat down. Finally got a zero down. This uh, air battle is not going very good for us. What the damage is on our ships here? Let's go through. Because it doesn't look like the Astoria is doing very good. This doesn't seem to be doing our, too bad. Almost got rear-ended by the tailor, though. Wildcat in danger, wildcat down. We're down to uh, one, two, three, four, five, six wildcats. It's like we're kind of outnumbered now. Wish these guys would shoot at them. That would be nice.
Oh, they're just shredding our wildcats. Shoot! Shoot! Turn away. Shoot! There we go, there's one. Stop shooting. No, don't stop shooting. <laughs> Get him, get him. There we go. Things are kind of starting to even out a little bit. Okay, you got a zero coming in right at you, buddy. Take him out. Shoot! Shoot! Okay. Uh, is that everybody? Did we get them all? Apparently not, because this guy's... Oh. Shooting off into... Nothing there. So, f four wildcats survived that. I'm pretty sure that's everybody. Yep, they lost eight. We lost eight as well. So we can leave. Ah. <sighs> All right. Still looking for that destroyer up here. Okay, so we are in position with our cruiser group. So I'm going to split these three, or these five. And see how long it would take them to get to six hours. So that'll be two o'clock in the morning when they get there. All right. Cruiser group, we are going to bombard. See what I brought it down to three. Okay, brought it down to a level one. Uh, how's your ammo situation? You're out of high explosives, so we head back. And this is going to take quite a while. All right, now the second cruiser group is on its way over here to Cape Hoskins. Hopefully they can get in and out before uh, daybreak. I'm not too worried about Cape Gloucester now. now something I could do here with the uh, Crimson Tide Battle Group is send them up to um, Kevang and bomb that. That may be an option. Uh, down here we've got S Force 31 that is picking up fuel. Works out pretty good. Three ships for three uh, 300 fuel. And we are going to send them. Uh, let's do an airbase up here. We'll send them up here. I don't think I'm ever, you know, actually going to get to this, but we could pretend with everything else that's going on. Okay, supply three is in position, so we are going to load them up. Let's check up here real quick. 14,000 troops and 8,000 supplies. Uh, OK. 
Okay. Order. Lies. 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 Groups. Groups. And troops. Okay, let's uh swap these two guys out. Send them up to Santa Cruz. And then see what this is all about. Probably a sub. Before we get to that. Do some shore bombardment. One. Alright, so that should have bumped them down to nothing. Did. And let's see what we can do. Hopefully, uh... Hopefully the guest is up to the task of... Taking on the sub here. Okay, we're gonna break everybody off. Okay, guess turn on your sonar. Let's see what we can find. We are uh, pretty close to land here, so let's get everyone moving. I'm gonna have to do some dodging if that those torpedoes start coming in. level straighten your course straighten up straighten up Straighten up, and guest, you are still moving straight ahead. Let's see if we can see any uh, inbound torpedoes here. Dark enough that I can't really see much. I think if there were torpedoes, we would have seen them already. Uh, someone shooting star shells at me. Hey, everybody, turn on your radar. Oh, hello. Right after we, uh, used up all of our ammo, we have ourselves a surface engagement. Got a destroyer. We got some destroyers here. That is for sure. So Minneapolis and Vincennes, you're going to form up. Actually, select everybody. Break. Minneapolis, Vincennes, form up. And head out here. We are going to... We are targeting number one. I forgot to turn off the uh, auto gunnery. Sorry about that. Salt Lake City... Form up. Okay, let's let loose with some star shells. 
Oh, we don't have any ammo? Holy shit. Except for our secondaries. Well, that sucks. Our main guns are completely out of ammo. Maybe I should have uh, checked on that before I let loose with everybody. Oh, we still got some ammo on uh, the Phoenix. All right, let's identify these guys. We'll use a uh, guess to identify. Okay, number one is... Oh, it's hard to see. One big stack, one small stack. Wakataki. Number two. And number three. Okay. There are any more that haven't been spotted yet? Okay. Let's uh <laughs> take command of these ships here. Nav them out. They are heading in this direction. Guest is moving behind the lines. Minneapolis and Phoenix. Looks like we just had another one pop up. Crash back. It's not a collide here. We're going to be able to stop in time. Oh, very close. Very close. All right, now you can form up. Are we actually putting star shells down range or not? Because it doesn't really look like it. Well, they're out there. Okay, Minneapolis. Gonna hold your fire. Switch to armor piercing. Keep your target as is. Vincennes. Hold your fire. Okay, Phoenix. Oh, 
hold your fire, go with armor piercing as well. Salt Lake City. Hold your fire. Arrow spot. Gonna switch that before. Guest. Okay, they are firing with no solution. Seven thousand yards out. Head this way. Phoenix is doing what I need her to do. Let's have a uh, target. The second Wakatake. Salt Lake City, do the same. Actually, fuck it. You can target number three. Guest is targeting number three. So we're gonna switch. Salt Lake City to number two. Okay, we scoring any hits here? There's torpedoes. Maybe they'll run into their own torpedoes. That would be something, wouldn't it? It looks like the torpedoes are heading out this way. So, Guest and Vincennes. Uh, Minneapolis and Vincennes. Break. Form up. Turn this way. Salt Lake City and Phoenix. Turn north. Okay. That does look like we have a fire going out. Check it out. Yep, we got one fire. Wakataki's getting hit. Surprise surface engagement. With very little ammo. But we did get our uh, shore bombardment in, so... There's that. Hey, guest, we're going to have you hold fire. Start targeting this Wakataki here. We're going to slow you down a little bit, too. <coughs> 
have you break, turn just slightly to the north, fire. Okay, Minneapolis. I'm gonna have you hold your fire. Target the second Wakataki. Phoenix. Okay, Salt Lake City. You're going to target number three now. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Minneapolis is getting hit pretty good. Torpedoes in the water. It's fine. They completely missed. Uh, we've got fires on the Minneapolis. Okay, that Wakataki is sinking. So we are going to break, slow you down. Target number three. Target number three. Guests, we're going to have you turn. We're going to have you two. Actually, I'm going to break off Vincennes have her turn down this way. Okay, Minneapolis. Phoenix. Phoenix and Salt Lake City. Need to turn back. Start targeting this Wakataki here, Salt Lake City. Okay, you already are. Good. Like the Vincennes is taking damage too. Uh, Minneapolis getting her fires under control. Okay, how are we doing here? She is. See, she doesn't look like she's taking any damage whatsoever. Send her this direction. Have the guest join her. Phoenix is heading back. Let's check the damage report. Heavy damage and moderate flooding on number one. Number two has not yet been hit. your fires. Fires are out. So we can pick that speed back up. Ouch.
Okay, bumper speed back up. Hey, okay, guest, we're going to have you switch your targets. To number three. It looks like she has taken damage now. Everybody is focusing on her, that's why. put out. Slow you down a little bit. Have you turn in like this, bring your uh, broadsides to bear, you can come out like this. Well, they're moving pretty fast. Vincennes is hurting. Alright, you gotta come to a stop here. Minneapolis, we're gonna have you change course and close the distance. Phoenix and Salt Lake City do the same. Okay, guest, we're going to have you hold your fire. Start targeting that Wakatake. Okay. Fire away. Like this one's turning due south. Phoenix. May just let this one go. Have everybody focus on 
number one here. Although she is uh, fairly heavy damage. She's down to five knots. I don't think she's going to last much longer. How you doing, Vincennes? Most of your fires are under control. Check the report. Critical and heavy, and then minor and minor. I think we're going to withdraw after uh, we take out this one. Unless we score some pretty impressive hits on her. Have you earn bring your broadsides to bear? Uh, she's only going eighteen knots. Okay, hold your fire. Looks like she took a hit, so we're gonna keep on her for now. Such a small target, but... Okay, all guns reloaded. 7,000 yards going 18 knots. We'll put you... Right there. Okay, two salvos. Hold your fire. See how our first one does. Okay. Move it out a little further in front of her. Fire. Okay, hold fire. There we go, we got good hits there. She's down to nine knots. Seven knots. Let's put the salvo right here. She should blunder right into him. Three knots. She's actually picking up speed. Whoops, I forgot to hold fire. Oh well. Yeah, she's really picking up speed. Put the next salvo right there. That was a good hit. And she's sinking. Good. Okay. Target her. She's not even moving. Let's just have the guest finish her off. Guest, you need to slow down. Have everybody target her. There we go. Sneak attack by destroyers is now done. We can leave. Let's check our damages first. Uh, 
I guess has a little bit of damage here. Get that repaired. Okay. And leave. Next command points, three destroyers, and now you. You've done more than your fair share of the work. So you head back. Okay, so we're going to advance it two minutes and call the episode to a close with the start of day number 36. If you like that episode, hit the like button. If you are not yet subscribed, you should be, because this is a lot of fun. Hit the subscribe, come along with us, leave your thoughts, tips, and advice in the comments below. I love hearing from my my uh, viewers. And uh, I want to take a second to thank all my new subscribers. I had 11 uh, new subscribers last week. That's pretty good for me and my uh, small little channel. So thank you very much for that. Anyway, J76NY saying thank you everyone very much for watching and have yourself a very good day.